Similar to our last example, in class example 2.11, can you determine which functions are polynomial and then determine their degree and leading coefficient? Take a second and give it a try. Let's remind ourselves that in a polynomial function, it is okay for us to have any real number as a coefficient, but we can only have whole numbers for the exponents. In the examples on this slide, we see an example b the square root of x, which would be x to the 1 half. And we also see x to the negative 1, which is immediately problematic because it's not a whole number. This leaves us with answers a and c, which are both polynomial. And we can identify in example a that the degree is 5 and the coefficient of that term is 4. Example c, which I haven't animated here, has a degree of 1 because that's the invisible exponent on the x and a lead coefficient of square root of 3. It's worth noting that sometimes you may be given a polynomial function in a factored form and so you won't necessarily see the largest exponent. If you had something like y equals 2x squared times x plus 5 to the 3 times x minus 1, you would add the exponent of 2 on the x, the exponent of 3 on the first bracket, and the invisible exponent of 1 on that second bracket, and 2 plus 3 plus 1 would give you the degree of 6. This is what you would get if you multiplied all of the brackets out. Your first term would, in this case, be 2 x to the exponent of 6.